Yeah, uh, the reason why I would like to talk to you today because there are many people who are saying that uh, the reason why there is an evil, uh, they are saying, saying something like this, if God is good and there is evil, then there is no God. Sure. Or if, if God is good, if God is powerful, and there's evil, then God has no power, something like that. God yeah, has it, to say it, something like that. Yeah. Some kind of a bar- bar- variation. But but have I said that? No, uh, I've, I've been hearing this in your show before uh, and okay. many, in many... So yeah, I, I'm on record as not being a particular fan of the problem of evil as an argument against God. Um, because I'm fine with the notion that, you know, God could be a mon- incredibly powerful and just not be good. So it's on, only an argument against a very narrow description of God where God must be, you know, powerful, benevolent, or powerful and benevolent um, and, and omniscient because he's got to know what's going on. Um, but as somebody who was a fundamentalist Christian for more than 25 years, uh, I don't find it particularly an impressive line of argument. And also, when you talk about evil existing... I don't think I can view evil as something that exists. To me, evil is the label we put on things that are uh, contrary to what we would wish for or hope or would be viewed as positive. But- yeah, because you know, we, we human beings, we are using a standard. We are going to use a basis. We can use our own human being. That's basis. what I'm asking you. Standard, what yeah, what right. standard did you use to determine that God was good and Satan was evil? That's the question. Yeah, because uh, the reason why God is good, because according to the Bible, he is the God of existence. Why do I give a shit what the Bible says? Because of intelligence. Intelligence I would argue that that because of intelligence, I absolutely should not care what the Bible says. Yeah. And Uh, I'm absolutely uh, good, which means I'm right. Do you want to know what I would do if I was the bad guy? What would you do? I would write on a bit of paper, I'm the good guy, and give it to you. Yeah. Let's try to keep this as simple as possible. There, you're, okay. there must be some standard by which you are judging God to be good and Satan to be evil. What is that standard? Because if the standard is God said so, well, then guess what? I am absolutely good because I said so. Okay, so one, 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 one standard that I've seen based on intelligence and based on the Bible is that God was the one who designed life. And since he was the originator of life, he has the very right to take life. So, first of all, I reject your bald-ass assertion that because someone can create something, they then can destroy it without being viewed as immoral. But second of all, but we're asking what the standard is, and you have yet to give any sort of standard by which you can determine that God is good. And by the way, are you a flawed being? Flawed? What do you what, what what do you mean by flawed? Are you a perfectly reasoning being? Oh, no, I don't think so. I am. I, I, I don't think so either, because I don't think I am. We agree but on I'll one claim thing. that I am for the sake of argument. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, if you have some standard by which you're judging God, how do you know it's the right standard? Yeah, the reason why it is the right standard because it works in reality. No, it doesn't work in reality because I, there's no evidence for a God actually existing in reality and there's evidence against the proposition that the God of the Bible is good because, for example, if you're a good God, would you ever tell people to do something that is immoral? No, no there is no okay. immoral in God. Is it immoral to own other people as property? If God say, if God say yes, no. Fuck that. This reminds me of this a, is this is by definition special pleading now because you know where we're going. Y- you yeah no go on no 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 y- you've defined I've good as enough. whatever this this being with all power etc demands is good and you've literally just said if that being says that owning humans is good you're saying yes that's good. Anyone with any yeah. kind of integrity knows that that is bollocks. I mean this this goes back to the Greeks and the Euthyphro dilemma. Uh, with respect yeah, to piety, so but it can I, change for this, which is, it, is something good because God says so, or does God say so because it's good? Because if it's the former, then what you have is divine command theory, and you don't have anything about morality related to goodness. You just have a list of this is what God allows and this is what God doesn't allow. So that when God allows slavery, it's good. When God tells you to kill your child, it's good. When God tells you to go slay all the Midianites and keep all the young virgins for yourself, it's good because God said so. Well, I reject that because I have an understanding of morality and good and evil that transcends what the ancient Israelites wrote down without any evidence. 
Oh, I don't, I don't accept that because you are not the creator of the universe. I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, and I reject okay, your yeah, assertion sorry, that no. I reject your assertion that someone needs to be the creator of the universe in order to have an understanding of morality. So now, where do we go? I'm going <laughs> to so, reject your bald ass assertions. Well, I maybe I will call uh, uh, next time for this topic because this topic is too long. But.